welcome to Cooking with Joyce today. We are going to make a delicious tuna milk. First, we're gonna start off with making the tuna salad. So then if you have anything left over, then you can simply have with some crackers or some vegetables. We're gonna start off with two cans of albacore tuna. Let's see, albacore tuna is so nice and chunky. I just love it. I like to use the one in olive oil. And you have about half a teaspoon of salt and pepper each. Kosher salt and pepper. We're going to use a quarter of a cup of finely chopped celery. Then, about three tablespoons of sweet pickle relish. This is gonna make it so yummy. A tablespoon of fresh squeezed lemon juice. Kinda complements the fish and then the sweet relish and the mayo. One cup of mayo, your favorite mayo. All right, now this delicious cheese is gonna be left over for when we do the melting part. Now, normally, you might have some fresh cut red onion. Personally, I'm not really crazy about raw onion. I'm gonna leave it out on this one, but if you like onion, go ahead and add that. And also, you can add a boiled egg or two. For two cans of tuna, you wanna go ahead and add two boiled eggs for your tuna salad. But because we're doing a tuna melt, we're gonna leave the egg out, all right? So we're gonna just mix this all together. Mix it all together. Get all the flavors in there. I think there's some big chunks in there. Looks like there's a lot of mayo in this one, but it's gonna help when you grill that sandwich, it's gonna be so flavorful and moist. All right, so I've broken up the large chunks of tuna just so it can absorb, you know, some of the mayo and the, the liquids from the relish and lemon. Next, we're going to layer the, I like to use sourdough bread. Love sourdough bread, especially for grilled sandwiches. And so just keep in mind, you don't have to always grate your cheese. You can just slice it very thinly and lay it on your bread. Saves you a little work too. I like using pepper jack cheese. Pepper jack adds so much flavor to your grilled cheese sandwiches. It's so amazing. You can use pepper jack in almost anything. And then it's like a secret ingredient kind of because they're like, wow, what's that flavor? And it's pepper jack cheese. <laughs> so see, I just cut some really thin slices, added it to both slices of bread, and I like to use a really good dense sourdough, like I said. And you can use whatever bread you like, but just so you know, the sourdough really, really adds some a sort of, it's just delicious for our sourdough, for our grilled sandwich. So we're gonna go ahead and just put some of this tuna on here. One good solid layer of tuna. So you want to, if you have a nice thick bread like this, you want to go ahead and give it enough tuna and then the cheese on both sides so it can be nice and luscious. You're not, you don't have all bread because you don't want all bread for your sandwich. You want to go ahead and taste that tuna and the cheese, right? So now we're going to just go ahead and put this in. Fold over that one top there. I already have the butter melted in the skillet. And you wanna just let it cook kinda of slow so the cheese can melt really nicely. And then we'll flip it over and I'm gonna show you the finished product. It's gonna be so yummy. Look at that. Easy. This is so quick. A nice, easy tuna melt. Beautifully browned. And we are going to cut this in half. Now, I, I kind of put quite a bit of tuna on there. You know, you, and if you fry it nice and slow, 
and everything's gonna be warm. And look, the cheese is gonna melt inside. <laughs> so it's gonna be a delicious tuna salad sandwich. There you have it. So now if you want to cut down, this one has a little more liquid than I would like, but it may be because of the relish or, um, but either way, it's still gonna be delicious. So if you have a messy sandwich or a real neat, tidy sandwich, that's fine. But it's gonna be good either way. So, I want to talk about albacore tuna. Our health tip for today is albacore tuna shares many of the same nutritional advantages as other types of tuna. It's a rich source of complete protein, selenium, and vitamin B12. However, it has two significant differences. Albacore is a better source of heart-healthy omega-3 acids, and it also has a, um, a higher level of mercury. So just be careful if, you, if a person is pregnant or a child, be careful of the mercury level, and um, maybe just have another source of tuna. Or just don't have as much in a week or so. Just kind of monitor it. And just so you know, it's always better if you're going to have some fresh tuna, go ahead and buy the wild albacore tuna. It's way more healthy for you. All right? Just want to remind you, if you need help cooking anything, or you have a suggestion of something you need, you know, want me to cook, I would love to help you. Please hit me up on Instagram or email me. I'd love to help you. And remember, cooking is therapy. Thanks again for joining me on Cooking with Joyce.